so fast. But Luigi cannot be comboed. He just sticks out his foot and you run into it and you're like, why is he so fat? Luigi's so fat, God. Like he's he's like Wario, except not full of hot air. Like he's full of lard or whatever makes people heavy. And they're like right in each other's faces, and I did not understand why one of them didn't just go flying at any moment. He gets a down air, and West takes first blood. So he gets an extra 400, well, not an extra 400 gold, he gets an extra 100 gold and 400 gold for that kill. Which means he's probably going to start snowballing pretty quickly on this lane matchup unless he gets shut down. Shout out to League of Legends players, ladies and gentlemen. And Wes Taunts gets a grab with that taunt bait. Oh my goodness, that was so pro. He just read his mind there. Neon finally closes out that kill after taking a devastating 24%. That was sarcasm. Um, but he did take a pretty significant combo and screwed up his recovery just there. So now Wes has got a full stock besides that 1%. See if that 1% can carry Neon all the way back to even. He is the 1%, as Wes just said while he was playing his tournament match. Shut up, Wes! Um, they're both just chatting, and this is totally collusion because they're not actually being try hard right now. Except they are. Except they're not. Except they're just cursing at me right now because I'm distracting them both. Um, So Wes is off stage, he blocks the giant stick, but the misfire gets blocked, and he throws him off stage. Platform gets in the way of whatever was about to happen. So now they're just back to even. PK Pizza Toss, ladies and gentlemen. PK Pizza Toss. So, Neon has started to come back a little bit. He's still behind a percent, but at least he's on the same stock now. And, oh, but there's... That's a stock, that's a stock, so he's got a comeback ahead of him if he wants to bring this back. So, interestingly enough, okay, he's just trying to find a way in with that Hadouken. Missed that smash, but Hadouken right next to him, which works. And he's got the edge. He's got the edge again. And Luigi's back. By him getting the edge twice. He's got his smash charged up again. Let's see if he can land one. That'll definitely mean the end of Luigi. There he goes, hits him with a stick, and it's pretty even. 21 to 0. Which would not be even in any other sport, but in this one, well. Oh my goodness! That combo into misfire. That was pretty hype, I have to say. Even though only one other person is watching. That was freaking hype. You got the Craigasm from Oro, and he's a pretty damn good Zero Suit Samus player, so you should be pretty proud of yourself for what just happened. More Craigasms are going down on stream as we speak. You missed his combo, he just comboed into Misfire, and it was really pretty, and Luigi farted, and he blew up. Wow, that was really lazy, Risner. Just type the carrot instead of actually typing. Wow. Did Z-Man mo money match Ness? Did somebody asked, did Z-Man money match Ness? He wasn't here. Um, the match is now started. Therefore, I feel somewhat obliged to make a note of it. Although you kind of knew that that was happening, so I, I guess I don't really need to announce it. It's just something to fill space with, you know? Something to talk about. So, it's a small stage. This is a, an interesting one. I thought I would hate it with Marth, but I actually found that both layers of platforms are very useful. Because I, they're both with an up tilt range, so I, I pop someone up on one of them. And I've just, it, it's not fun for them. And they, they don't have all that much space to get down either. I can kind of see why Jordan likes it too, because he just 
runs around, uses the platforms for mobility reasons, but keeps his engine just like, I don't know, Jabba the Hutt or something like that. Who was it that said that? I don't even care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have apparently. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> he got stuffed so hard just now. Wes is complaining constantly about me distracting him with his commentary. I'm calling Johns on that, but whatever. I, I I mean, I think Jordan should be just as distracted by all of the crap I'm talking about him. Not really. Uh, why are none of the Lucas is using the snake dash? Um. I mean, I guess we are melee players, these two guys, but, nah, that's not even a fair statement. Um, I don't know. I don't know why Neon isn't using Snake Dash. Honestly, I don't know what Snake Dash is, because I am a pure melee player. Um, Wes won the last one, didn't he? I should probably mark that down. There we go. No one. We actually do not have any wands here at the moment, however, there is a one who lives in uh, Yuma, who shows up to these occasionally. Uh, Gamertag Meds, Fox Marth main. I, I don't know how you can play both Fox and Marth, they're just like so different, I could never switch between the two, but whatever. We are talking about something completely irrelevant. And we have a call for game- oh my goodness, sorry about that. Hit the mic, I don't know if that caused any damage to your eardrums. We have a call for some Game & Watch action, which probably won't happen. I don't know if any of these two players play Game & Watch at all. No wants, indeed. Zach is saying wants in a funny voice. It's kind of creeping me out, but it's okay. Maze still come out to tournaments there. Um, I don't know who Maze is. Do you know who Maze is? Maze? M-A-I-Z-E? I -E. This, I don't know who Maze is. He's apparently a really cool dude. Shout out to Z-Man for this information. He's a Rob player. Brawl player. Okay. That, that would explain why I don't know who he is. But, um, does he still come out to tournaments? Yeah, he came out last week apparently. So yes. Raise your Johns. Raise them skyward. Okay, he was a little less than so, Yeah, he lives in SoCal. That's what uh, Z-Man said. But he apparently does come out fairly often. Shoutouts to SoCal. They're pretty cool. Except for the part where they like, suck Mango's dick over everything. But, eh, whatever. So the match has begun. Wes has opted to go for Dracula's Castle. Decision would make sense to me. I, I mean, it's more of an open air kind of place. Although the platforms change so much, that there could really be anyone's stage, in my opinion, depending on the platform arrangements. It's really interesting to have to adapt that much to the stage, just depending on what it's doing. Are there any Game and Watch mains? I just mainly the Game and Draw. Um, I don't know about Game and Watch mains. I do happen to know that there is a man who travels around a lot for melee named Jute, who plays a really mean Game and Watch. Um, I believe he actually mains Falcon, but his Game and Watch is pretty tough. Here. Like above and beyond Wobbles is Game and Watch, and uh, Wobbles is a good player. Oh, he's, Wobbles is apparently the best PM game in Watch, according to us biased Arizona people who are playing the game right now. Um, Jute ruins Falcon Ditto setups. Because Game & Watch. <laughs> okay, so you've heard of him. I had I was unaware that he was that greasy. Like, I, that's, that's just cruel to deprive the world of Falcon Dittos. But we could all use some Game & Watch practice in case somebody actually decides to use that character at some point. Can't even Ditto Dark Rain. Sad face. I don't know. Falcon Dittos are actually kind of campy sometimes. I, I find that Falcon is actually more entertaining when he's playing other characters because he can combo them better. I 
We have compliments to the Lucas Edge Guard. Oh yeah, there, there's a match going on. I forgot about that bit. Um, <laughs> so it appears that Jordan has got the upper hand by a more significant margin this time. Wes is apparently sandbagging. Sandbagging Johns. Um, but Wes does take his stock, so he's at least got that to back it up. Um, Wes, stop sandbagging. This is grand finals. This is kind of important. Wes is like, what? He says, if he wins, he has to play another set. So, we've got a top player hating on the game. Oh, he just wants to play melee before we go. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 can, I can see that. This melee is a really fun game. I play it more often than I play PM. In fact, I pretty much never play PM, except for today, because people voted, and they said that they wanted PM singles instead of melee singles, and so... AZ Project Melee is actually streaming Project Melee. What a concept, right? So, Wes had to use his misfire to get back, and that will probably factor in eventually. They're both at 94%, interestingly enough. And now they are not. And Jordan is trying to chase him down with that PK Thunder, which is never going to hit. Never hit when I was playing him. He beat me 2-0. Oh, he get get sucked into the up B. And Wes is mad about that, but he living. He's got 160%, but whatever. Luigi, we heavy. We got recovery, and TK beats a bladder. Uh. Alright, so Neon has pulled ahead. Wes is asking his opponent for advice on how to beat him because that's what pros do. He's doing the Mewtwo King strats. Oh, okay. We've got The Rock, which you can't really see because the camera's screwed up. Let's see if we can... And what you also cannot see is that his chair is designed to rock. It has an angle built into the legs, like a lot of cool chairs, so that you can just kind of... Push yourself back, lean back a little bit without actually scooting the chair back on its legs in a dangerous way that might crack your head open. Shoutouts to chair design. Shoutouts to shoutouts. So, we've got... <laughs> I have apparently the reason Wes got hit by that combo. I'm calling Johns on that one. <laughs> Call Johns all you want, he says. So, let's see if I can cause Wes to lose just by talking about him the entire match. This should be amusing. Um, so Wes makes it back. Wes down smashes. Wes up airs. Wes... <laughs> that actually looked really funny. It looked like Luigi just kind of turned around and belly flopped on the floor. I, I laughed at that. And we've got Luigi kicking ice. Oh, he gets a grab, and they are now both at high percent, so this actually is pretty even. Um, I didn't, I didn't even see what happened, but death happens. And Luigi kicks the ground like the poor, shy sap that he is. Never gonna get with Princess Daisy, he's just too shy to ask that fireball of energy out. Oh my goodness, I did not know that was a spike, because I don't play this game. So, th there's a lot of very close distance kicking, and I, I, I can only really tell by the percent who's getting kicked. Um, but Lu Luigi seems definitely to have gotten most of his kicks in, as opposed to Lucas. As opposed to FD. Um, Luigi's got him off stage, and that trade is probably... Well, oh, wow. That was definitely not in Weston's favor. Oh, goodness. And he taunts and eats a really nasty down smash for it. It wasn't during the taunt, but it doesn't really matter. He got hit because he taunted. We all know it. Hadouken and Hadouken and kick and kick and all this Lucas stuff that really happens too fast for me to even tell what's going on. And have I mentioned that I'm a melee player? Um, 
Luigi does the sissy run, which is a personal favorite move of mine, despite the fact that it is punishable by just about everything, as long as you don't get the last hit. And he misses his misfire, but that gets him back on stage, so it's not really all that bad of a, an outcome for him. And he gets an up smash, which almost kills, not quite, we've got fairly decent DI. And PK Pizza Toss. <sighs> it hoits, it hoits. And he's got a combo going, and wow. Ness look, I mean, Lucas looking like Ness out there. With his striped shirt and his fancy double jump canceling and back air and all that. In fact, he was probably designed partially just to emulate that. He even got the striped shirt, man. Like, these two are big headed twins. Yes, I know they're from the same game. So, tight battle. Oh, home run. And Neon takes it. And now we've got Pikachu coming in because friendlies and two pairs. So, unfortunately, they gave Pikachu the wrong blue color this game. They, they took away the party hat that has been his staple for so long. And... Okay, fine, leave us. God. Just kidding. Um, take away the party hat that's been such a staple of his wardrobe ever since the SSB 64 days. And it's, it's really hurt us Pikachu players in Arizona. It, it used to be this... There was the standard of Axe it's the standard of everyone who liked Axe and kind of tried to play like him and didn't really succeed because Axe is Axe. Um, and Wes is making fun of me for playing White Marth, which is completely irrelevant. <laughs> I'm going to stay here and keep commentating despite the fact that the match is over because it distracts Wes, and I find that very amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Commentator name, I sound kind of like- Oh my god, I sound kind of like Wobbles. I am so flattered right now. I am Jem. I introduced myself at the beginning of this. Um, Jem, that's G-E-M. I'm from Illinois. Like, I know you, Oro. I have met you in person and played you in tournament. I have videos to prove it. Um, yeah, that that's me. Uh, that White Marth player is kind of a scrub, but yeah. Um... That's me. I, I am. Wobbles is basically my favorite human being ever, so I am very flattered to be compared to him. Um, thank you very much, Risner. You, you're still my favorite Kirby player, and that actually means something now because you just said that. What's up, Laurel? Shoutouts to the Midwest, by the way. We're, we're not as scrubby as everyone says we are. Yes, he is a Kirby player. I believe he primarily plays Brawl, but uh, he does play him in Melee, and for that, I give him props. If you were to play in an SSP-64, that would be a completely different matter. That just... man, don't, don't do that to people. That's not nice. Play him every okay, okay. Well, yeah, 64 Kirby is really annoying to play against because the 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 second jumps just do things in that game as opposed to in melee where they do absolutely nothing. Um, 